Hello everyone! I wish I used more optimistic data in this tutorial to demonstrate how to use Excel to fetch and transform the data from web. But as a world world currently battling COVID-19 pandemic, I would use the data related to statistics of confirmed cases in each country to create dynamic dashboards in Excel. In this tutorial we will learn how to create the graphs like that, which fetch the data from the public web services. This data can be dynamically updated with a single button click. And you can customize the look of your graphs by specifying the filters for countries and dates. Let's start by creating a new Excel workbook, selecting Data tab and clicking From Web button. Now we need to specify the URL of a web service to fetch the data from. There are currently multiple resources which provide this sort of data, but I'm just going to use this one. It updates three times a day and provides the statistics per country per day and the data seems to be quite accurate. The API provides the data in JSON format, which has all the information I need to create my graphs. So I will copy this URL and paste it into my Excel from web form. Now the data is imported and I can navigate through its record to see the structure. So you can see that each country contains a list and each list contains the records. This data is represented in the tree structure format, so you'll need to transform it into the table to use in Excel. The first step is to convert this data into the table. Now we have more options to transform our columns. At first, we would expand our column with values to a new row. So in this case, all of the list will be broken down into the separate rows in this table. So we have a repeating country in our first column, and each record in the second column. Each record itself contains the information about the cases per day. And we have a similar option to expand this record into the separate columns in this table. Now we can add more transformation. So we can, for example, assign a specific type to the column. So in our case, we're just going to set the date for the date column and click Save to create this table. As a result, we have a data in an Excel format, which we can easily query with Excel functions, we can create pivot tables or graphs. It should be noted that you can easily update this data by clicking the refresh button and all of your transforms and graphs will be preserved. We need to further adjust this data so we can create a proper graphs in our Excel file. The easiest option would be to use a pivot table and we can just use a summarize with pivot table shortcut to create a pivot table directly from this data source. We will drag and drop the name field into the columns, we will drag and drop date into the rows and our value of confirmed cases into the value box. So you can see our table has been updated. As the current data set contains the total number of cases per each value, we'll need to properly adjust the calculations. So instead of the sum, we need to specify the max field value so we have our data displayed correctly. Excel has automatically grouped our data by months and we can also use the filters to adjust the look of this table. So for example, we can just select the countries we want to display in this pivot table. In order to have more detailed report, you might want to remove the grouping by months. So let's select our pivot table, activate the pivot table tab and modify its definition. We simply need to remove months field from our rows category. Finally, we can insert graphs to represent our data in the graphical view. Let's go to insert, select the graphs, select the graph you want and it will automatically create a graph for you. As this graph is linked to the pivot table, it is quite easy to filter the data inside the graph itself. So you can simply navigate into this button and for example specify the filter by date. So this is a statistic of the last week. You can also specify the custom filter. So for example you can specify the range. So let's see how the cases progress from the 1st of March. Or even let's do it from the middle of the March. In a similar way, you can filter the countries you want to be displayed on this graph. 
you can add more pivot tables and more graphs to represent data in the format you require. Please follow the link in the description of this video to download the Excel spreadsheet with a dashboard. Thank you for watching this video and stay safe and healthy.